In this video, we'll reposition the elements in the action scene. First, switch the layout to Two View Up. Click on the View tab and select the layout. Choose Two Up. Then exit the View tab. You can also press Alt 2 on the keyboard to choose the Two Up display. This is a useful display which will allow you to see the schematic and the result view side by side. Click on the left window to put it into focus. Then choose Schematic in the view list. The schematic is a node-based view which represents the objects of the scene in a graphical manner. Click on the right window. Keep the result view on the right window. Zoom out to see the entire frame. Position and scale the trumpet player. Click on the Object tab. The trumpet player image should still be selected, but to make sure you are modifying the correct element, look at the schematic view. In the schematic, select the axis on top of the image. It's the axis element that controls the image. Use the scale control and scale it down to 80%. Drag the position X and Y sliders and place the talent inside the middle arch. You can also drag the element in the player. If you press Preview now, you will see that the backplate is outside of the HD window. We could reposition the backplate separately, but then we will also need to reposition the talent. Instead, we will group these two elements with a new axis and move them together. This is called parenting. To add a new axis, select the node bin. Find the axis object under the All Nodes tab and then double-click the axis object. This adds a new axis into the scene. Locate the axis node in the schematic. Pan the view if needed. Put the axis on top of the two images, and with the cursor, pull a link that goes from the new axis to the axis of the backplate. Then, connect the top axis to the axis that controls the trumpet player. Double-click the top axis in the schematic. That opens the Object tab, and the controls for that parent axis are displayed. Scale the top axis down to 75%. Also use the Y position slider to move the images up in the scene. The sky image is not moving because it's not an image object and it's not part of the schematic. It's only the back layer. 